Here's that frame I've been working on. Um, I had it filled, but I always take a few average ones out and put in nicer ones. Like there's that big vitro agate shooter I just found yesterday. And I put a few other ones in here that I found, but it always makes it nicer. I try to jump the value of it over the last, the next week after I fill it by incorporating better ones so we'll go up today see if we can't get any more nice marbles so that's what we're looking for what we'll be doing in this video and i might find bottles toys it's hard to tell what else i'll find, pull out of there so next will be the clips later all right i'm heading up this hill again to dig some marbles and whatever else i can find maybe some bottles who knows i found a few bottles worth taking yesterday but I'm going to stay a few hours, see what I can get. Hopefully we can get another video. Marbles is what I'm looking for. I'll get back in the hole. Later. See, we got a, a fourth inch of snow anyway in the night. I thought it was supposed to warm up, but it didn't. It's as colder, colder as it was yesterday. I'm going to look around. I was finding a bunch of marbles right in here yesterday. We'll see what I can get later well right off the bat within 30 seconds i dug go up in there there was a little island here you can see i'm starting to scrape it but there looks like a marble king right there it is green and white marble king there's marbles everywhere in here folks. i'll get back on my next one that's just an average one hopefully we can find some swirls and stuff now i'll just rake this out of the wall i have hundreds of these um, they say Sistersville on the bottle, but this one has all kinds of case wear, I can tell. Probably won't take it. It's an Art Deco soda bottle. See that hole right there? I hooked this with my rake and pulled it out. Look at this, folks. It's a big mason jar. Number four on the bottom. Let's see what we got. Look at that. Real nice condition. It's got a bunch of dirt in it, but still, that's a good one. Perfect condition. Look at that. Nice. That's a good find. Later. All right, I got another one. There's a little drinking glass. I'm not taking that. I got so much stuff like that. There's lots of whole bottles coming out. Um, newer stuff. There's something right there. It looks kind of weird. I think it's just a piece of pipe, but that kind of looks like a little crock thing, but I think it's a pipe. But I got a marble. Oh man, look at this, folks. This is a good one. Look at this. It's a two-color cation. Look at that orange on the outside. That's amazing. I don't have one like this. Look at that. Let me wipe this one off and show you better. Yeah, look at that thing. That's really nice. That's beautiful, actually. Canish orange. Man, they didn't have one like that. Later. See that? There's a whistle soda bottle right there sticking out. Get a little deeper here. I've been digging in these upper layers, but there's trash thick down in here deep. There's all kinds of stuff in it. Look at all of this. It's just an ashy layer filled with glass and bottles and marbles and toys and mason jars and just everything. But, well, I've never seen this whistle cola bottle. I might take it and try to clean it up. It's got a little damage to it, but it's mostly there. Thirsty, just whistle, refreshing goodness. And it's got little like elf faces on it. And it says Columbus, Ohio, vast dry company. You know, I've seen them vest colas before, but that's a pretty cool bottle. Thirsty, just whistle. I moved out of that hole where I found the mason. I just move all around all day. That's what you gotta do. I was finding marbles over in here. We might even go on the upper side of this thing and do some test pits today too. There's gotta be a place in here where I can just find like a hundred marbles within an hour. 
that's what you want to look for. But if you're finding them, you're finding them, and I'm finding them. Here's another one. You want to move around. This is a Marble King. I thought it was a Spider-Man when I popped it out, but it's nice. I found these before, so I'll just show it for a second. It's real nice condition. It's a beautiful marble. It's probably a St. Mary's, West Virginia Marble King. Made it to St. Mary's, West Virginia factory. Marble King is the manufacturer. Laid it. Another marble fall. It's right in here somewhere, right here. Looks like a vitro agate. I think it is. It's got color on both poles. It's a vitro agate rainbow, like ketchup and mustard, maybe. Later. Oh, do you see it? Another mason jar. Another nice one. Let's see what the number is. Three on this one. Real nice condition. Wow. That's nice. That's two. Two now. Out of here. Man, I wasn't expecting that. I'll get back. Now I got another one up in there around them mason jars. It looks like a swirl to me. It looks like a red alley swirl. Let's see. This will be a daymaker if it is. It is. All right, look at that swirl. Let me wave it off. You know, that's an alley agate made from 1929 to 1949 in West Virginia. It's kind of an orangey red swirl. That's beautiful. It's got a little bit of clear base in it. That's awesome. It's wet mint. Nice fun. I'm happy with that. Later. Right, here's a big orange juice container, but it's all ACO'd up, and I don't think I've ever seen that. So we're going to get that out and see what it is. It looks really good preserved. Later. Yeah, I thought I'd show you this. Something I haven't seen. Oh, that's pretty, pretty cool, actually. Man. 10 cent bottle deposit. Oakmont, PA, Daily Orange Juice Company. Orange, grape, grapefruit, pineapple, fruit punch, pineapple, orange, grapefruit, orange, something, raspberry, lemon, lime, low calorie something and it's let me see let me wipe it off this is cool all right it's the daily orange juice co an improvement on nature daily orange juice co phone 8-8382 oakmont pa that's cool there's a sprite right there it looks like it has a nice acl pull it out of here and we'll see yeah, it's one of these. It don't have nice ACL, but that's a little one. Would have liked to have that. It's messed up there. But find so many heads, the figurines. That looks like a dude, like in John Adams' time, or it's a dude, I'd say. Like around the colonial period, that would have been cool. Look at the detail on it. That stinks. <laughs> It's on in here. I was finding marbles right in here yesterday, and they're not deep below the surface, but I'm down off this mound, and it's like the marbles have rolled. But right here's another blue marble king. It's a real nice condition. Um, you can see it. It's Marble King Manufacture. Oh, that's a pretty good shape bottle. It's some kind of liquor bottle. You can still see some of the paper, and it's got the original cap, and it's unique. I'm going to take that to trade it. That's a unique bottle. It's all paneled up and it's kind of cool. It'd been better if it was blue, but still. Later. I'm going to get another one. It just looks like a blue marble king. Um, it is. I thought it was a swirl there for a minute. It's one of them blue ones. They're nice. Real nice condition. Can't, can't complain. I'm looking for marbles. Later. I thought I'd show you this. These are pool tabs off old cans. There used to be books that kids could get. It showed you all kinds of crafts to make out of it. Belts and just all kinds of stuff. And that's what that is. Some kids or woman or somebody has been making crafts with pool tabs. Later. Yeah, I got a marble down here. I didn't even see this one when I raked it up. I saw it when I stood up. Just looks like a cat eye. It is. 
Let me see here. It ain't bad. It's just a white one. It's got rusting and stuff all over. It's just kind of an average one. Um, later. Uh, I got another marble down in the hole here. It's another one of them orange ones. I found one of these. It's probably a vitro agate, I would say, from the color. Um, way down in here. I haven't dug none on this hole. Um, I found several nice marbles in here, but I've been going all over in that way. I came up to the upper side of this mound and got another blue marble king right away. Man, I'm going to have a whole pocket full of these. These come out pretty consistently in here. There must have been a bags of them. Later, I should have just left this on. What the heck's that? I didn't see that. It's ceramic. It must be like a coaster. But look at this. This is a day maker if it ain't broke. Look at this. Look at this ashtray. I'll give that to my mom. That's be absolutely beautiful. Don't find them like this often. Look at that red on it. That's nice. Wow. Let me, I'll get back. I'm gonna do a few more in here. Play it. Well, there's a marble, folks. We got one. It's nothing to brag about, but it's kind of nice. So there's one. I'll have to edit this. I had to go there a minute in between. I started this clip, and I've been trying to get live clips here for a while. It's hard to do. But I'll get, I'm going to find one more thing in here and clean this out, and this is where we're going to dig next time. Two marbles and an ash tree came out here in like 10 minutes. So this is on the upper side of where I've been digging, just up over the lip. Later. All right, I got another one, folks. And I mean, just a few minutes later, look at them layers back in there. It's real loose and just perfect for marbles. And this looks nice. It looks like maybe a vitro agate cage cat eye with an aqua base. It is, and it's multiple colors. This is awesome. It's a vitro agate cage cat eye made in Parkersburg, West Virginia. Let me get this one wiped off. This is outstanding, folks. Right at the end of the day, look at that color. Baby blue, brown, green with an aqua base. Wow. I'm glad I stayed. See what happens? Later. It's hard for me to get this real clean because I can't take my gloves off, it's so cold out here, but there's great color in that. It's just a smoker. Man, all right. Uh, all right, I gotta go. I got two nice cat eyes. That first one with the orange on it there, and that last one's nice. That orange one ain't bad, and that swirl's nice. That Marble King right there is actually pretty nice. That blue, red, and white one. And then the other ones are Collins, but still nice condition. <coughs> And I got two nice mason jars there and, you know, that orange juice thing and some blue bottles. Not bad. Any day I can find more than six marbles, I'm happy. I really like that red alley swirl. Well, anyway, until the next one. Later. Look in here. Somebody always comes in and watches TV with me. And while I'm doing videos and gets in these... Tell him you're in your blankie. It's my pet squirrel, Squirrel Master. We're, we're number one buddies. Tell him, Squirrel Man. Tell him you're a good boy. He just sleeps in here. He's kind of hibernating this time of year. I had to get him out of his box. But tell him you like it in here. You like to snuggle up. So it wasn't a bad day in the dump today. I only stayed a couple hours. It's freezing. But I got a few nice marbles and... These mason jars are nice. They're perfect. I kind of clean them partly the way up, and there's no damage to them at all. They're just mint. Look here. See, you like cheek rubs. You like ear rubs. Tell them. You like back rubs and belly rubs. Look at him. Well, anyway, Merry Christmas, fakes. I'll probably get out a little bit tomorrow. 
the river's up i'll go arrowhead hunting again when it goes down a little bit it ought to be good here in like a week or so just as long as we don't get a bunch more rain or snow i'll go out and try to find some real nice airheads i'll put up a few real good airhead hunting videos at the end of this video just click on them to watch them later look what i gotta deal with he's getting a nest here tell him you want to come in and just stay in bed watch tv with me don't you look what i gotta deal with here it's the squirrel maniac tell him you just want petted and all kinds of attention tell him you're a good boy he just wants love that's for sure he loves for you to scratch his back and he likes this right here that'll put him to sleep he'll go to sleep here and just be completely asleep see so you're a good boy buddy look at him this is my pet squirrel for all you newbies, Squirrel Master, the Squirrel Man, a.k.a. El Chapo. Look at him. Tell him you're in here. You getting down in your nest? We'll put you back in there. He likes to be kind of covered up. Well, anyway, later. Later.